and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make these wonderful Mayuki Cotton Lariat Necklace. So we're going to be using a range and different sizes in these fabulous Mayuki Cotton beads. If you haven't worked with them before, they're really nice and lightweight. So for this lariat style necklace, they don't weigh you down when you're wearing them as well. So we'll be using the 14 millimeter, 10 millimeter and 18 millimeter size mixture here. And we've got various colors, which you can find on the Beads Jar website. I'll be putting them onto the Beadsmith Eslon cord, twisted cord, which is nice and silky but it's soft enough so without the weight of the beads it'll still hang correctly when you're making up your necklace. To finish the necklace I'll be using the Kumihimo uh, fastening ends and we've got there the toggle clasp, the two ends which we'll glue in and ov uh, oval jump rings. To help me put the beads through I'm using a large eyed beading needle and I've just got a pair of scissors to finish off any threads or cut any sharp ends that I'm going to need. To start my project, I've pre-cut a metre and a half and nine threads, so nine metre and a half lengths of thread. And to start me off, I'm just going to half the threads exactly. So I'm getting my two ends together. And then this is exactly half. I'm just going to make a knot with all nine threads together. So going through. So I've just created a loop around my finger. Take those through. If you wish, you can sellotape one side just to make it a bit easier so they're not all loose. And then you take that off when you are threading the opposite side to the necklace. So as you can see, straightforward knot of all nine. And then we're gonna place the knot there and I'm going to start threading. I'm going to start by taking two of the strands. So two on their own. There's no precise measurements for this necklace, so it's really up to you to manipulate the threads as you wish. So I've just taken the two on, on their own and I'm going to create a knot with those two. So that's my knot. Separate those two. And I'm going to add my first bead onto the thread. So I've got one of the strands from the knot and I'm putting that through my beading needle. So just doubled it over. And I'm going to pick up my first bead. I'm going to choose a cream pearl here. Straight through. And pull that with the beading needle. Take that down to the knot. So I've got my two strands together again and I'm going to place my finger next to the bead and make my next loop. And I'm taking that knot up to the bead. To keep that one in position. We'll then do another knot slightly further up away. So I'm going to do this one here. So I've got two strands again. And I'm just going to use that as my marker. So I'm just going to do that a little bit lower than the cream coloured pearl. So my knot's a bit lower than the first one here. Pop those out of my way. And I'm going to choose my next bead. So we'll go for 
the 10 millimeter size. Again, choose one of the cords through our beading needle and up through the bead. Where we knot again. So that's the principle for practically the whole necklace that we're going to do. And I'll show you how many sections you're going to do of each and then how to fasten the clasp at the end. So I'll finish this, I'll call them pods because they remind me a bit of a pea pod. And then I'll show you how many you're going to need for the rest of the project as well. So now we've got the four sections for my pod and I'm going to bring the threads together again. So all threads on this side. I don't want to pull it ridiculously tight, I want a bit of softness to this. So I'm just going to release that a bit so that I know that it's going to sit nicely. And then I'm tying all the strands together again for the final knot on this pod section. And once you've got that done, that's your center pod and you're going to add sides, so you're going to add another three pods either side of your center pod. I'm just pulling each strand to really tighten my knot and make it neater as well. So that's my middle pod there. And then you're going to work to this side. So I'm going to nip ahead and show you how many you're going to add to each side. So we did our center pod here. And as I explained, I was going to show you. So I've done exactly the same method to the right of the project. And there's one. So the centre, one, two, three, and from the centre to the left, one, two, three. Then when you've put your last pod on, you're going to finish with your knots as normal. And then really this is the point where you can decide just how long you want your lariat to be. And now I can show you how to put the fastener on. So I'm going to take all the strands together and I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to get this knot as close to the end as I can because this is near the length that I've decided for my lariat necklace. So I'm just working those up to the top as close to the end as I can get my knot there. And then pull each strand, which I'm just going to use my pliers for. so that the knot's really nice and tight. Do the same on the other side. And then you're going to trim the thread above the knot away. 
So I'll do the other side. That way I can make sure I've got the same length to my threads. So they're the same. Secure my knot down there. And we're trimming away the threads above that. And then we're going to be using a bit of glue to attach the ends for our fastener. So we're using the Kumihimo ends, like I mentioned. And what we'll do is pop the glue into the ends. Now this is very strong glue, so you really don't need to go too crazy. And you're going to pop that in. You can use a pair of pliers just to tease the knot into the end and that glue really does dry quickly so I'm just going to do the other side as well. So that's the Fevy Quick Glue you can get at Beads Jar and that's just a nice little one gram tube. Perfect for little jobs like this and if you don't do much gluing that just really works. And you're just going to let that glue set on both of the ends and then we'll put our toggle clasp in between the two Kumihimo ends. What I can do whilst we're letting that glue dry is open the jump rings most of you may have opened jump rings before but if you've not this is my preferred method to open them so I'm holding one side of the oval with a pair of flat nose pliers so they're flat in the in inside and I've got a split facing up I'm then going to hold across the side with a second pair of pliers and then I'm going to push one side away and bring one towards me that way you can hook your jump ring and one end of the toggle clasp on. With the O's you want to go for the smaller loop and then that can go onto the Kumihimo end and you're closing that back together again to attach these. So you just reverse the process of how you opened it to close that back together and that will get those two connections and you're going to do the same on this side when everything's all dry and you can use the ends. I think that one should be okay to show you now. Yeah, it's feeling like it's set so I can open this jump ring, hook on my toggle clasp through the end and we'll close that back together. So I'm just going to support that and bring both sides back together to finish that clasp. I'm going to go through and that's the fastener on the end of this beautiful cord and pearl necklace. Thank you for watching our tutorial today. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe now to our YouTube channel. You can see all of our latest designs and inspirational ideas. To get all of the fabulous beads, go to beadsjar.co.uk. Until next time, bye!